there's no change in the rules today. Uh, what the Prime Minister will do is set out on Sunday a roadmap that can look to the future and explain what steps will be taken at what moment in time and critically the evidence that will back it up. I, I think it, it's safe to say that any changes uh, in the short term will be uh, modest, small, incremental and very carefully monitored. The virus is not beaten yet. It remains deadly and infectious and we're working very hard right across government and with local government to bring it down in areas of concern like in care homes and I'm confident we can do it and we will do it. But because we held firm three weeks ago we are now in a position to start to think about the next phase in this pandemic. Any changes that we make will be carefully monitored. If people don't follow the rules or if we see that the R level goes back up, we will tighten the restrictions again. We will always retain the option to do so. If I make a personal view, uh, then uh, I do believe that social distancing and maintaining it over the next few weeks is going to be central to continuing to um, reducing the um, epidemic. We have definitely got a challenge in care homes. Uh, the CQC data uh, that came out, um, I think yesterday, showed that overall in care homes, uh, the number of deaths was down by over 300 uh, on the last week. Um, so that's positive, but there is still a very significant issue in care homes. Uh, Jenny and I were in a Cross Whitehall meeting yesterday looking at exactly how we ramp up every bit of what we need to do around the social distancing in care homes, the ebb and flow of people into care homes, the PPE, the testing, to make sure we bear down on this problem. Uh, and you're right as, as well, there's also an issue in hospitals.